Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's encode the logic. I hope you all are doing good. In this video, we are going to write a program about sum of even numbers till n and sum of odd numbers till n. So without making any delay, let's quickly jump into the discussion. So sum of even numbers till n. If n equal to 10 is the input, then output should be like, we need to select the even numbers from 1 to 10. So within the 1 to 10, we have even numbers which are 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 and we need to sum all those even numbers and we need to print the result and similarly sum of odd numbers till n. If n equal to 10 is the input then the output should be like we need to select all the odd numbers within 1 to n nothing but 1 to 10 and we need to sum them. We have odd numbers within uh, 1 to 10 they are 1, 3, 5, 7 n and we need to sum all of them. And we need to finally print the output that was 25. So now we need to write a code for sum of even numbers till n and also sum of odd numbers till n. So before jumping into the coding part, let's figure out the logic in simple words. At first, we need to take the input. So what could be my input? My input was n, right? Okay, fine. Later, the logic part. So here I want to use a for loop because here we are uh, using a range like 1 to n. We are going from 1 to n. We are following a sequence, right? 1, 2, 3, 4 and up to n so on n, right? And we iterate from all the numbers within this range 1 to n. And we check if that number is an even number, then we will add that number to even variable. If the number is an odd number, then we will add that number to an odd variable, right? So that's why we will use a for loop. And coming to the output, we need to print the result. That was sum of even numbers till n and also the sum of odd numbers till n. Okay, now let's write the code for it. Okay, let me keep a comment first. That was sum of even numbers till n and also sum of odd numbers till n. At first, we need to take the input, right? That was n. n equal to int of input of enter the number. Right, we need to take a for loop, right? For i in range of, so what could be my range? What I was doing? I was going from one to n, right? Both are including. So we need to keep the range as one comma n plus one, right? And now what we need to do? We need to find out whether the numbers within the range is an even number or an odd number. To find out that, what we will do? We will do if i mod 2 equal to equal to 0. If it is true, then we can say the number is an even number, right? Or else the number is an odd number, right? And one more thing, if you don't know how to write a program to check whether a number is an odd number or even number, I have already discussed about that program in our channel. If you haven't watched that video yet, please do watch it. I will provide the link in the description box. Please do check it. So in this way, we will find out. So if i mod 2 equal to equal to 0, then we get to know that the i is an even number. So then what we need to do? We need to add that number i to an even variable, right? Okay, let's take an even variable, even, and initialize that variable as 0. Initially, the even variable should hold 0. Then we will append i, right? If we get to know the i is an odd number, what we need to do? We need to append that number i to an odd variable, right? Okay, let's take odd equal to zero, right? And what we need to do? We need to do odd equal to odd plus i. So this is the logic part. Now the input part was completed and the logic part was completed. Finally, we need to print the output, right? Print the sum of even numbers till n is even, right? And similarly, the sum of odd numbers till n is odd, right? So this is the code. Let me run this code and we'll see what is the output. So let me give you number 10. So if you see the sum of even numbers till 10 is 30 and sum of odd numbers till 10 is 25. Okay. Let me run this program again. 
I will give number five. So we'll see. Sum of even numbers till five. So what are the even numbers till five? We have two and four. Two plus four. It was six. So the output was correct. And the odd numbers. We have one, three, and five. One plus three plus five. That was nine. Fine. Let me run this program again. This time I will give six. If you see the sum of even numbers till six is twelve, and the sum of odd numbers till six is nine. So in this way, the program will work. We can also do the same program in another approach. Let me remove this logic part. And this time also I will use a for loop for i in range of 1 comma n plus 1. In the previous logic, we haven't defined the step because by default the step was 1. So we haven't declared that. What if I declared the step as 2? Then my values of i are in the first iteration, my i was 1, right? In the second iteration, my i will become i plus 2, nothing but 1 plus 2, right? Which was 3. In the third iteration, my i will become 5. And in the fourth iteration, my i will become 9, right? In this way, the i will goes. If you observe how my i values are, these are odd numbers, right? These are odd numbers. What we can do now? We can append all these i values to odd variable, right? And we initialize odd equal to 0 at first. So now with this logic, we computed sum of odd numbers till n. Okay, then what we need to do for computing the sum of even numbers till n? Okay, let's again use a for loop for i in range of 1 comma n plus 1. So from where my even numbers will start from? My even numbers will start from 2, right? 2 and then 4. It keep on goes like that. Right? Instead of keeping a beginning value as 1, let's keep 2 for the even numbers. And let's define the step as 2. So now what are my i values? My i values were in the first iteration, my i will be 2. And in the second iteration, my i will be 4. And in the third iteration, my i will become 4 plus 2. That was 6. And then fourth iteration, it was 6 plus 2, 8. And then 10. And then 12. And so on. And now what we need to do? We need to append all these even values to even variable. Right? In this way also, we can compute the sum of even numbers till n and sum of odd numbers till n. Okay, let me run this program again. We'll see how it will work. Okay, this time I will again give 10. So if you see, it was 30 and 25. Okay, working fine. And let me run this program again. This time I will give 20. The sum of even numbers till 20 is 110. And the sum of odd numbers till 20 is 100. Right? So this is the method two of finding sum of even numbers till n and sum of odd numbers till n. So there is another method to find out. Let me tell you that method three also. So, okay, uh, we know how to find out the sum of numbers till n, just numbers, right? Till n. We know the formula that n into n plus one by two, right? So we also know the sum of numbers till n is equal to sum of even numbers plus sum of odd numbers till n, right? Now, let's send this sum of even numbers to the left side. Then my formula will be like sum of numbers minus sum of even nums will be equal to sum of odd nums, right? Or else you can either send this sum of odd numbers to the left side. Then my formula will be like sum of numbers minus sum of odd nums is equal to sum of even nums, right? So if you observe the method reverse, we need to compute the sum of numbers. That was n into n plus 1 by 2. It is simple to find out, right? If you have n, we can simply compute it. And later we need to find out either sum of even numbers or sum of odd numbers. Then eventually, using any of this formula, we can find out the other one. Okay, let's write the code for it. So, total equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. Right, we need to use a floor division to get the precise value. Fine. Okay, let's compute the odd nums. And don't compute this. Let me keep a comment for this. And now, what is my even value? Okay, let me remove this variable my even will become total minus odd right if you see 
sum of even numbers equal to sum of numbers, nothing but the total, minus sum of odd numbers, nothing but the odd, right? Okay, let me run this program again. I will enter the number 10. So if you see, the same result. It was 30 and 25. Fine. Okay, let's compute the odd number using the total variable and also the even variable, right? Okay, let me keep the comment to them. So remove the comments to this loop and then remove this and also this. We need to initialize even equal to zero. And later we find out total equal to n into n plus one by two. And then this for loop will take care of finding the sum of even numbers, right? Finally, we need to do odd equal to total minus even, right? So this is what the formula, sum of odd numbers equal to sum of numbers minus sum of even numbers. So let me run this program again. I will give 10. So if you see the sum of even numbers till 10 is 30 and the sum of odd numbers till 10 is 25. So this is the method three guys. Okay, let me remove this. So till now we computed the sum of even numbers and the sum of odd numbers using a for loop. Okay, let's compute them using a while loop, right? Okay, let me initialize my even equal to zero and also my odd equal to zero. And I will use a while loop. So what was my condition? I need to start from one. So that's why I equal to one, right? And I need to go till n. Okay, we will check if i mod 2 equal to equal to 0, then it was an even number, right? So, we will add that value to even variable, even equal to even plus i. Or else, we will add that number to odd variable, right? Odd equal to odd plus i. And every time, we need to have a increment statement whenever we are using the while loop, right? My increment statement was i equal to i plus 1. Now, let me run this program and we'll see. So, I will give 10. So, if you see, it was 30 and 25, fine. And let me run this program again. Uh, let's give 13 this time. So, it was 42 and 49. So, this is a method one of using a while loop, guys. We can implement the same method 2 and method 3, which I told before, using a while loop 2. So, I want you people to write a program for method 2 and method 3 using while loop, guys. So write your method 2 and method 3 using while loop programs in the comment box. I will definitely check it and I will let you know whether it will work fine or not. So that's it about today's video guys. That was sum of even numbers still n and sum of odd numbers still n. I hope you like this video and thank you for watching. Hey folks, if you enjoyed this coding tutorial and found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share with your fellow coding buddies, drop a comment with your thoughts or questions and of course, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Your support means a lot and it helps our community grow. Happy coding!